Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be giving you guys a little life update on some things that have been going on lately. I also want to put out this disclaimer, I hate that I have to do this almost every video, but my daughter is in the room and so if you just hear tons of background noise, it's just her. But I just want to get into the life update for you guys. I know there's so much that I show on camera and so much of my life that I share, but there are times when I turn the camera off and I actually have a life outside of YouTube, Hi. surprisingly. So I just kind of want to share some things that have been going on in my life with you guys and maybe just some things that you guys don't see that you might be interested in. I do have a couple pregnancy updates and I don't want to share too many because I do, um, like, very important weekly updates. I don't do them every single week, but I have a couple out, so if anything new happens, I typically update you guys on my bump dates. So I'll link those below if you guys want to be more informed about my pregnancy currently, because there might be some things that I mentioned that you're confused about. So I highly suggest watching those videos first if you would like. So the first little update I have for you guys about my pregnancy is my morning sickness. If you guys have been following my pregnancy journey, you would know that I don't actually really have morning sickness. This has been a pretty easy-ish pregnancy other than the complications that I recently discovered. However, um, I believe it was two nights ago now, maybe three nights ago, I took melatonin one night because I really just wanted to get a good night's rest. <laughs> And I have been struggling with sleep lately, so I was just ready to go to bed. I didn't even want to deal with sitting there with my insomnia or whatever I have. I just wanted to go to bed, so just ignore her. She's not even there. Um, anyways, so I did take melatonin one night, and I was completely out. I was very groggy. It was probably around like 10... 10.30ish, Anthony ended up coming home from some basketball training that he was doing that night, and it, he, I think he, it did wake me up, or he asked if I was awake or something, and we ended up having, like, kind of a conversation, but I was so groggy and, like, tired that I was having a hard time, like, listening to what he had to tell me and talking back, so I was just like, hey, I took melatonin, like, I really need to go to bed, and he's like, okay, yeah, that's fine, so... We both ended up going to bed, and then about an hour after that, I was totally in a dead sleep. I remember just sitting up and just gagging on the side of my bed, and that was like when I was starting to wake up, so it's like, it's like I remember it, but I also remember being asleep. Super weird, but um, he ended up... Or I ended up just kind of like gagging on the side of our bed and then I ran to the bathroom and I just couldn't stop throwing up. Like I don't know what it was but I just sat there like constantly throwing up and it was the worst. I have not had that kind of morning sickness this whole pregnancy at all so that was my first time like really getting sick and it was just the absolute worst. I was sitting there throwing up over the toilet and then I was also like peeing all over the floor because I was like my stomach was just pushing and it was just causing me to pee like when you sneeze and you pee a little when you're pregnant it was like that and Anthony is so sweet he, he totally like cleaned up the pee and everything but it was a mess and it was gross so that sucked that's kind of one of my pregnancy updates I have for you guys but Another pregnancy update that I have for you is the baby is kicking extremely hard and it's to the point where he's just moving all day and I don't remember experiencing that with my daughter but I also didn't have a belly button hernia so it didn't hurt as bad but it's so weird because every time I was pregnant with my daughter she would typically kick when I laid down and you know, was resting or going to bed, and I feel like he kicks whether I'm awake or asleep, and maybe he's just stretching and, you know, trying to get comfortable, I don't know, but it's very uncomfortable and it's very painful, especially when he kicks near my belly button, and I actually caught it on camera for probably the first time, I can never catch him kicking, so I'm gonna roll that video right now.
anyway, so yeah, it's just been really painful and it's just been like these hard kicks like that all the time and especially when it's near my belly button. It's very sensitive and painful, so that's been hard. Um, but it's just part of pregnancy, I guess. I'm so thankful to be pregnant and that I can feel his movements and everything, but it's just been a little rough. Last week, I took Ava to this toddler and mom yoga thing. It was so fun, guys. It was literally the best thing ever. I saw online that they were doing an event that was like yoga with your kids or something and I thought it would be more kids like you know four and up maybe and I got there and it was actually a support group for moms which was so cool and they do events and activities like that all throughout the week so it was a two hour long class and for the first hour all of our kids which they were all literally the same age they were all toddlers and there was a couple newborns in there but for the most part, it was just like toddlers playing. Um, they, anyways, so they all just like played with these blocks and colored and all of us moms just kind of sat in a circle and talked about things we're struggling with as parents and things we're going through and stuff. I talked about Ava's eating lately. She's been having a really hard time eating. She used to eat anything I ate. She would just pretty much eat anything I fed her and now she's very picky and it's hard to find foods that she'll eat and one day she'll eat something and absolutely love it and the next day hate it and it's just been hard to feed her so I kind of talked about that and I've been struggling with her tantrums a lot she has been throwing tons of tantrums and just crying about absolutely everything what so as you can imagine that's been really stressful and I'm sure your toddlers do that as well it's it's just a phase she's going through in an age but I want to parent her and teach her the right ways on how to cope with that so that, you know, that doesn't continue and I can eventually stop those tantrums. So just kind of figuring out the right parenting methods has been a little tricky, but um, we're working through it, of course. And anyway, so we went to this yoga class and it was so great because after we talked, there was a yoga instructor who taught the kids yoga pretty much and you would think like... <laughs> How does a toddler even do yoga? Like, my toddler doesn't even sit. And she just made it, a, like, a very fun environment so that the toddlers would enjoy it as well. So, basically, we listened to the song, and everyone, like, all the moms did the actions to the song and stuff. And the kids just followed because they thought it was so much fun. And I do have a couple of video clips for you guys, so I'm going to roll those right now for you guys to watch. If you're happy and you know it, down you down down That was the class. Ava had so much fun and I seriously cannot wait for the next class because I want to take her again. I've been trying to take her and get her out of the house a lot because she's a toddler and I know it's very frustrating for her to just sit here while I'm trying to work, you know. I have videos to film and I'm constantly editing and it's very hard to entertain her while I do those things, as you can tell. So, I've been trying to make a huge effort to a couple days out of the week or at least like every day find something to like really entertain her and wear her out even if it's just something at the house she has like a miniature trampoline in the backyard so I've been taking her 
in the backyard a lot now that it's getting a lot warmer outside and a couple weeks ago it actually did snow so we went and played in the snow a little bit and I took her swimming which was really fun and me and Anthony also took her to this trampoline place they were doing another toddler event there and so it was just like a ton of toddlers everywhere and she got to jump on the trampolines without getting trampled by bigger kids and they had like tons of toys laid out for toddlers and stuff. I do have a couple clips of that as well so I'll let you guys see that if you'd like. <laughs> so yeah, I just think it's really important to get your kids out and especially toddler, she's so busy so I need to, like she just needs to get out of the house sometimes. So that's been really fun. I plan to take her swimming tonight. That's why she's not ready <laughs> right now. But um, yeah, overall, like it's been so fun and I've honestly enjoyed getting out of the house too because I know... As a mom who stays home and works from home, it's very draining mentally and um, so even though it's like kid activities, I find it so rewarding just to get out of the house and know that my toddler is having fun. So I've also been trying to work a ton. These past couple days, I've been feeling really unmotivated to work and I think everyone gets that way. Everyone gets a little bit unmotivated. but. These past few months at least, I've been working so hard on YouTube and it's been so rewarding and I've really seen a progress in it and it's just made me feel a lot better taking YouTube as a job instead of just a hobby. And obviously I love doing it, but it's even more rewarding when I really treat it like a job and I want to do it and I'm motivated to do it. So I think this, probably like these past couple weeks, I've decided that I wanted to start reaching out to companies. I always just kind of wait for people to reach out to me to work with people and that's like such a touchy subject to talk about on YouTube is sponsorships because I know viewers don't really like them but um, that's just how I make my money and I think if you're trying to become like an influencer as well or work off of YouTube or something or Instagram. This is probably beneficial for you to hear as well, but I made a media kit which was so helpful and I reached out to so many brands and I really like doing that because I'm going through and finding my favorite brands that I absolutely love and trying to work with them, whereas when people reach out to me, sometimes it's brands I don't know and I have to test out their product and see if I actually even like them to sponsor them. So. It's been really fun finding brands that I truly love that I can share with you guys because I know it comes from the heart and it comes from something I really like and it gives you guys like sometimes a discount as well. And speaking of like working with companies and stuff, I didn't really work with this person but there'll be people who will make like edits and stuff like that on Instagram of my family and I and someone actually painted a picture which I freaking loved. I loved the picture and then... They ended up DMing me asking if I wanted the picture and I was like, heck yes, I want the picture. So I was really excited that they were totally willing to send me the picture and they are so sweet, so generous and I actually just really want to share this person's page and everything. Basically, she is a painter and she's also very into nursing. She's very like inspired about that and motivated towards nursing I guess what's the word I'm thinking of I don't, passionate she's very passionate about nursing and I think that's so awesome because when I was pregnant with my daughter I was also very passionate about nursing and I'm not saying like if you didn't nurse that's a problem I totally believe that you have to have that motivation to do it or else you won't do it and you have to want that or else you won't continue nursing you won't just do it to do it because it's really hard so I think what this girl promotes is so awesome and her Instagram so I'm going to show you guys what she sent me um this isn't sponsored she's not asking me to show you guys I just genuinely want to show you but this is a picture she painted of me which is so cute I absolutely love it it's just kind of like a very simple but powerful pregnancy painting and 
This is actually inspired from a picture that I took, which I'll insert right here. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I highly recommend you do that. But this is where she got the inspiration for this picture, basically. And that's so cool. And she wrote me, like, a little note on the package that it came in, which was so nice. And she wrote me, like, a whole thing about basically nursing. And I think that's so cool. So she's starting. I mean, I don't know if it's a brand she's starting or what, but... Basically, she made these, and she also made me a t-shirt that's just a purple t-shirt, and then it has this logo on the side of it. Um, and this is just kind of like a logo that she's starting and created herself, and that is so cool. And let me read it so I can kind of explain what it is more. So it's an oxytocin tea, which was hand-designed to rock your love of nourishing your babies with liquid gold. I already love that. So she sketched this out. This is the oxytine, or... Er, I'm pretty sure I said oxetine because I mix like tea and stuff, but it's oxytocin. Um, she sketched this module out and it's in honor of all the lovely oxytocin released from breastfeeding. It's a hormone that establishes a letdown while creating a beautiful loving bond between mother and baby. Um, so I just think that is so awesome that she found this and it's just a movement that she loves and wants to share. and. I think that's so awesome, so I'm going to link all of her Instagram information below and stuff. I don't know if she sells them or what, because I honestly didn't know a lot about this until she sent me this. I just knew that she was sending me this picture, so yeah, I just think that's so awesome. I'm so passionate about breastfeeding. I went to a breastfeeding class, and then that's what motivated me so much with my daughter to breastfeed. Um, anyway, so I think that's really cool, and I just think if you guys want to start a brand and stuff, just start. I mean, that's... That's the best way to start something. You can't wait until you have absolutely everything you need. You should just start with what you have and show your progression. She's taking this. Um, and your hard work throughout your products that you guys really are passionate about. So I think that's super awesome. Another thing that you guys don't really see on camera that I actually do all throughout the week. I've talked about it a little bit on my channel. And I also kind of made a video of... Anthony, but basically he's been working really hard in basketball. He really wants to go overseas and play basketball there, which I think it's cool. Like he really has that dream and passion and he's working hard towards it. So he plays basketball three times a week and two of those times are games that he plays with like groups that he's in, like teams he's on. So um, I've been going to all of his games on Tuesdays and Fridays and it's been really fun. Some nights I take Ava and then if the games are like super late, I don't take her at all because she needs to sleep and she just won't last there. So I'll typically just like have my mom put her to bed or I'll put her to bed and my mom will just kind of listen for her. Um, but I've been going to those games a lot and it's been so much fun. I actually really like watching him in basketball. Yeah, but I know that's stuff you guys don't really see. So I just wanted to give you guys a little life update and share some things that have been going on in my life and some things I've been doing and I'm passionate about outside of YouTube. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this little life update. If you guys want more just chilling, sit down updates like this, then let me know below because I am really liking just sitting here and hanging out with you guys and letting you know what goes on off camera. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.